You know shit gets real when they pass around to everyone rosaries, a rosary for an advanced screening of The Conjuring 2. Oh, and um, yeah, I'm definitely going to need this rosary as I film this review. Hello everybody, this is 22 Tiger Dude here holding my rosary to keep the inner demons away from me as I'm filming this review at 2.48 in the morning, no joke. The Conjuring 2, that's right, I'm here to review the horror sequel, The Conjuring 2. The Conjuring 2 is, well what I just said right now, it's a horror sequel to the 2013 horror original film, The Conjuring. The film is directed by James Wan just like with The Conjuring. Conjuring, and you have the returning talents of Vera Formiga and Patrick Wilson. And the film is, well, it's basically what you can describe as probably the same plot as the original film, where something is happening inside of the house, so it's up to the Warrens to solve a case inside of this house that only the paranormal investigators, or I like to say, the people that are brave to experience such things, so they can watch the inner demons in that house. I don't really get excited for horror movies often you guys so for me to say I was very excited for The Conjuring 2 going into it that really says a lot because it's not often I get excited for a horror film. In fact it's very very rare because I think James Wan is a very talented director. He did a great job with the first two Insidious movies. I really enjoyed the two Insidious movies he has directed. I also loved The Conjuring from 2013. He did a great job with that. And of course, he did a great job with his action debut with Furious 7. So with The Conjuring 2, I was hoping that this would be at least be a really good horror sequel. It didn't have to be on the same level of The Conjuring in my opinion because that's honestly very hard to pull off and I will say that The Conjuring 2 definitely delivers exactly what The Conjuring from 2013 delivers which is just very creepy moments, characters you care about, just very good slow moving shots and you have beautiful direction from James Wan. Let's go ahead and start off with James Wan because man, I just become more and more impressed with this guy's direction. James Wan has once again hit it out of the park with his direction because the way he directs The Conjuring 2 is the same way he directs The Conjuring which is having a lot of slow moving shots having a lot of shots where it backs away. He has all of these interesting shots to make you really immerse into this world. That's one of the things James Wan does such a great job when he's handling these projects. He knows how to build his world. He knows how to introduce his characters. It makes you care for the characters because it's not easy to direct. I feel like that's something a lot of people just seem to forget with movies, how hard it is to direct. But James Wan, knowing how talented he is, he was able to pull it off so well. And I give the guy just so much credit because, man, his direction for his film is truly fantastic. As far as his direction, it's on the same level as the original Conjuring, in my opinion. And just like with the original Conjuring, I thought the movie had beautiful cinematography. There were a lot of shots that were very dark, that were very eerie, that really really put you in this very dreary mood. The performances, everyone seriously did a great job. Unfortunately, I can't name all of the actors, but I can just say that the little girl, wow, she was so impressive. You want to talk about a really great child performance, this is a great child performance right here. This girl really impressed me. I am not sure what her name is. I'm sure I'll put it 
in the screen, but wow, she really impressed the hell out of me. She did a really great job. The mom, I thought, did a great job, as well as her brothers and sisters. For the roles they were given, I honestly thought each of them did their parts very well. And then, of course, you have Vera Farmiga and Patrick Wilson, who also did a really great job in this film. There was seriously not a single bad performance when it comes to The Conjuring 2. Everyone was very believable in their roles and you could get behind each of the characters and just seeing how the Warrens are solving the case this time around is honestly very intriguing. You're very terrified for the Warrens and the family. The same way you're terrified for the Warrens and the family in the original film, that never goes away. It remains the same here because some of the creepy stuff that happens in The Conjuring 2. Oh my goodness. There's probably a reason I'm honestly still awake pretty late, you guys, and I'm still wearing this rosary because just some of the imagery I saw in The Conjuring 2, it truly was something. And it just shows why James Wan is a master of just doing these horror films. He does something not a lot of horror directors can really pull off, which is really try to get under your skin and just make you scared. It's not like he tries to just go jump scare after jump scare. Well, yes, he does do that, but it's like he uses his jump scares in the right ways for you to still have fun with the movie. The history of the house that the family live in, wow. Now that's where it really got to me. It truly did get to me when you learn about the house that the family lives in. The script is very well written as well. I thought the script was very clever. It knew ways to tell the story from the Warren's point of view and even the family's point of view. Sure, it's scary when you see some of this creepy stuff happening, but I'm sure if it was actually you in real life actually experiencing the things that the family and the Warrens see in this film, man, I'm sure that would be traumatizing for life. And I honestly give the real life Warrens credit for actually doing this stuff because I don't know how they can actually survive doing all of these cases. Even the families that are involved in these cases. I don't know how they can survive when they experience stuff like this. It truly is crazy. Maybe that's why stuff like this sticks to me when I watch these movies, guys, because I think it's about like what they experience and when you think about the reality of these stories because these are based on real cases which is what honestly makes these movies get even more under my skin like the thought of that score in this movie is something that also gets under my skin it's a great score but oh my god just like with the original conjuring gives me major goosebumps i'm hearing the creepy score inside my head right now and i'm trying to get out of my head oh my gosh see what you do to me james Wan. you're a great horror director but man do you get under my skin when it just comes to imagery and just when it comes to the very haunting score i forget who does the score for this film but whoever did the score for this film great job you officially have got me under my skin ed and lorraine warren i really like just how, like how in the original film we got to see their relationship you know you could tell the two of them really do love each other that's because they stick with each other that you can truly believe in their love and that's honestly just thanks to the great performances of patrick wilson and vera farmega oh yeah and the opening sequence for this movie wow Talk about already getting off to a very unsettling start. That is how you open a movie. That was just truly impressive. And the climax of the movie, wow. My heart was pounding throughout the entire climax of The Conjuring 2. That was just... Oh my goodness. Now, honestly, my only problems with The Conjuring 2 is that... It does use horror cliches, and you know, the first Conjury did use horror cliches, but I think this time around the sequel may have used the cliches a little more often than what the original did. 
Like, there were cliches like, oh, the character's not going to believe their child. You're telling the character, tell that character something. Tell that character something. I didn't really mind most of the cliches here. I don't really mind cliches, but there were just a few cliches like that where I'm all like, I could have really done without just a few of those cliches. I get it's a horror film, but... I just didn't really feel like a few cliches like that were really needed. Also, there's a situation leading up to the climax. I'm not going to really say what it is, but all I'm going to say is there's just a situation where it looks like the case is about to end and then something happens that leads to this climax and I'm really trying to go spoiler free here so I don't want to really say anything but I just want to say how it goes to that then like literally a minute later it goes to that I'm all like wow that actually felt quite rushed and I would say just a few times the movie does get a little repetitive like it would have a scary moment then it would take a break then it would have another creepy moment then it would take a break and then it would have another creepy moment then it takes a break and then after that break that's when they start to have a lot more creepy moments from there and the final problem I would say I had with The Conjuring 2 is that it does feel a little familiar with the original sometimes. That's just because James Wan has this style from what he did with the original film. And yeah, you could say because it still deals with them solving the case inside this house. But there's just some times where I felt like the sequel was feeling just a little too familiar with the original. I was still really invested. I just do feel like at times during the film at least, it did feel a little familiar in terms of beat that the original film had in my opinion. And yes, I did get a haircut, I think 12 hours after filming this review. Overall, you guys, The Conjuring 2, I thought it was a very solid horror sequel. I really enjoyed this movie. I thought this movie was very well written. It was so well directed. It is so well shot. And luckily, thanks to this rosary, I did survive filming this review. So I'm going to give The Conjuring 2 3 out of 4 stars. If you really enjoyed the first Conjuring, I think you're going to really get a kick out of The Conjuring 2 as well. So you guys, in the comments down below, let me know what you think about The Conjuring 2. And what you think about the original Conjuring, if you've seen that as well. This is 22 Tiger Dude, praying that you guys stay safe. And don't forget that I will always have... Tiger Power! Oh yeah, and just a quick side note. I will never look at nuns the same way again after watching The Conjuring 2. If you've seen this movie, you know why. That's all I'm going to say. Yeah.